face of moon. This is Blake Cousins. Welcome to Third Phase of Moon. In this episode, we will be discovering and exploring Area 51, unlike any time in history. Shot from Andrew, and he's sharing his footage right here at Third Phase of Moon. And we're talking to him, and I want, and I really want to thank him for joining us right here at Third Phase of Moon. So we're going to park right in here and begin the trek. Show you a little bit of what we're taking up with us here. Uh, somehow we're going to try and get these chairs up to the top of the mountain. We have a telescope, um, camera bag, all of our cooking utensils, um, cameras stuff is all in here. And this is going to be one heck of a hike. So uh, here we go. Maybe halfway up Tikaboo, right up there in the sun. And this is the first time that we've been able to actually spot anything resembling Area 51. And there it is, it's Groom Lake Road. Leading off with a drone. Nope, that's a hawk. Black hawk. Fly, <laughs> black hawk <laughs> flying overhead. The Tikaboo Trail is only a mile long, but it's extremely steep with lots of loose rocks. It generally zigzags straight up the hillside. The trail relatively levels out as it cuts west across the slope side and angles off towards the ridge. We got up here to the top of Tikaboo. It's gorgeous up here. But as you turn around, you quickly realize something spoils Tikaboo Peak. And if you look, the camera on the weather station points directly down at us. So no matter what we do here on top of Tikaboo, we're going to be filmed. And that camera is definitely on the swizzle, man. Oh yeah. As we settled in for a long cold night on the top of Tikaboo, Area 51 came into view. With seven runways and more than 25 hangars, the base is truly impressive. All right, so it's nine o'clock. Um, we're still on top of Tikaboo. We there were uh, some unusual lights that you captured in the night skies over Area 51. One appeared red and another a streak of green. Could you explain to us what it looked like with the naked eye on location on the ground? I would love to explain to you what they were, but we did not see them with our naked eye. It was only after we took that picture that we saw the actual image on the camera screen and we kind of flipped out from there. Um, like I said in the video, we spent 45 minutes trying to recreate that image and everything we did wasn't even close. So whatever it was, it hovered because, well, the blue-green one hovered at least because it sat there for 57 seconds, but it was never visible with the naked eye. Now if you look real close, you can see we have movement going right now on Area 51. You managed to capture like aircraft taking off on the airstrip over there. Could you make out any detail what the craft was and was it doing anything, you know, unusual in flight patterns? When we shot that video um, and you have that image of the uh, airplane taking off from Area 51, we were 23 to 26 miles away from it. From that distance, it was hard to make out what it was. Um, judging by the takeoff pattern and the speed, it appeared to be one of the Janet flights, at least out of Las Vegas. Um, it appeared to be heading back that direction. Um, I can't be certain. Uh, we're too far away to tell any kind of color or any kind of marks on it, but um, that fits the description. And it didn't really make any moves that a fighter jet would make or definitely no like radical moves heading straight out towards the base now these are the vehicles that we watched last night is that a trailer i don't know what that is yeah so here's a huge trailer parked on groom lake road here that is a big trailer 
Our second night at Area 51 was spent at Campfire Hill. This is an outstanding spot to camp because of its proximity to the front gates, less than two miles, and because it sits atop of a small hill, providing an excellent vantage point of the entire surrounding area. Andrew, could you uh, tell us, when you first noticed this Ford coming at you, did you feel intimidated in any way? Did you think that they were going to come up there and arrest you? I had no idea what their intentions were at first. Usually, we've been into that area before, and we've seen them come close, but never that close and never in broad daylight. So my immediate impression was that of, oh crap, I think they're coming up. So yeah, I, I was definitely intimidated. So they're coming right in. Well, that's as close as I've ever seen them. Faces have been obscured in the following photos to protect identity. Look close and you'll realize that they use spotting scopes for observation. You know, you had a mission to get close to Area 51. What would you like from our government to come forward and, you know, disclose on what's going on over there and what do you think in your gut is what is going on under the secret hidden base of Area 51? Well, I'd like the government to come forth, um, at least with some kind of explanation. I mean, we're paying for the $68,000 Ford Raptors that they're driving around. We're paying for all the jet fuel that they're using. Um, I spent eight years as a Marine, um, and I, I'd like to know, you know, where my tax dollars now are going to. Um, it's, it's frustrating, you know, that they have the area so highly secured, but no one knows what's going on down there. The infamous white bus leaves the intersection of US 93 and Highway 375 every morning with workers to Area 51. It returns later in the evening to the same intersection where the workers get in their personal vehicles and head home. Usually there are less than a dozen workers on the bus as most choose to fly out of Las Vegas airport. All right, Andrew, I really want to thank you for joining us here at Third Phase Moon. How can the viewers, you know, get in touch with you and follow more of your uh, incredible investigative uh, skills down on the ground over there at Area 51? Thank you very much. I really appreciate the opportunity. Um, the best way for viewers to get in touch with me is to go to my YouTube page. Um, you can do that by going to USMC, the number four, higher and that will get you to my web or that'll get you to my youtube page i'm always happy to entertain intelligent questions um and uh i look forward to hopefully someone explaining maybe what that is in the picture that we took over area 51. we also noticed this helicopter doing reconnaissance upon our departure from the area we left area 51 with far more questions than answers what were the strange lights in the sky that night? What was that trailer carrying out of the base? What type of projects are the workers developing? And why is there such a need for such high security measures? I ask that you, as the viewer, use the information provided to draw your own conclusions and provide them in the comments below. I take a lot of pride in your comments and I look forward to answering the intelligent questions. Also, I ask that you please hit the like button below to show your continued support towards our efforts. Please feel free to subscribe to my channel so that you can enjoy all of our future adventures. Thank you for watching and happy exploring. We 
had only been atop Campfire Hill for 15 short minutes before we had our first interaction with the camo dudes. Okay, so they're stopping, coming in, and he's coming right up to us. What follows is the closest anyone has gotten to the camo dudes without being arrested. All right, this has never happened before. So they're coming right in. Well, that's as close as I've ever seen them. And this is going to be one heck of a hike. So, uh, here we go. Maybe halfway up Tikaboo, right up there in the sun. And this is the first time that we've been able to actually spot anything that we're taking up with us here. Uh, somehow we're going to try and get these chairs up to the top of the mountain. We have a telescope, um, camera bag, all of our cooking utensils, um, cameras stuff is all in here. Third phase of moon. Third. This is Blake Cousins. Welcome to Third Phase of Moon. In this episode, we will be discovering and exploring Area 51, unlike any time in history, shot from Andrew, and he's sharing his footage right here at Third Phase of Moon, and we're talking to him, and I, want, and I really want to thank him for joining us right here at Third Phase of Moon. So we're gonna park right in here and begin the trek. Show you a little bit of 